moving on, um, let's talk briefly about something else that's really, really common as a case example, and that is tooth resorption in cats. So we've got this image. Take a look at that. Look at those two teeth that you can see. There's obvious changes there uh, around with the bleeding on that um, third premolar there, the one on the right side. The fourth premolar, you have to look really close to see the changes on, on that. But take a look at that, see what you think, and then I'm going to show you the radiograph. So obvious on the third premolar, we've got replacement resorption with bone. There's no root structure there that's visible. It's all bone replacing the tooth root. The crown's affected. The, the margin uh, where all that inflammation was grossly uh, is causing all that inflammation there where the crown has been dissolved and the gum is growing into that. But look at the tooth to the left. Look at the crown. Look at the shade in that crown and then look back at the tooth itself. You can see that pink hue in the crown, especially on the, the right side there, or the right side of the, the, the middle crown or the middle cusp, and then look at it on the radiograph. You see that really nice white tip and then you see that gray as opposed to the molar to the left of it. So that is radiographically the same thing that we're seeing grossly with that pink, and that's where the crown is involved with tooth resorption, which might get not picked up unless you're really looking at that closely. So you have to really closely evaluate that in order to make that determination. And so um, there's that area outlined that I'm talking about. So what we would do is, again, we're going to turn that patient over. We're going to look at it like we would be looking at it surgically with the crowns facing us. And in order to, to resolve that, what we would do would be to go in there, open that tissue up, and take our little diamond football, diamond round burr, or very carefully a carbide round burr, and go in there and remove the crown down to where we have smooth bone, smooth all that out, extract that other tooth and then close that, and that will take care of that problem for that individual patient. 